Good morning, everybody. <laughs> so hopefully it's going to be a busy session this morning and thank you for all the members and visitors and I'd just like to start with a question. When was the last time you followed up by sending or whether when you last received a follow-up message after an event or one-to-one? -one? Because I'd like you to think about this as today I'd like to speak about the follow-up, my opinions of why and perhaps some methods of how. So we're here today at a BNI meeting, which is one type and currently is online, but very much it can be in person as well. So whether it's a networking event at a business expo, a business seminar, or just a networking event, meeting someone is only one part of the connection process. Um, and now that events are online and you're in two dimension, it might seem harder to build a relationship and perhaps feels less personal. So this is why thinking of the follow up is important. So I've got a lot of business cards. They're not my business cards, but they're the ones that I've collected from people that I've met in my two year journey. This is not all of it as well. So this is only a selection. And you can see I've got Will's business card, Ali's business card, Mark, Matt and Jennifer. And these are current members of BNI Petersfield that I've had the pleasure of meeting pre-lockdown and pre-BNI Petersfield. Um, so why does the cards matter? Because I'm pretty sure of all these cards, I've got them. And when I came back to my home office, I followed up with an email. So the four reasons of why a follow-up might be important is, one, I think it would probably be a bit, bit naive to think people will remember you after an event. And certainly, if you only see them once, they might not remember you months down the line. And it's just nice to say in a message, hello, and let's connect again. And to show them that the card isn't just kicking around somewhere or worse in a rubbish bin. And my second reason would be to reaffirm the conversation you've had or perhaps let them know a little a short snippet of um, your business to recap and likewise give them an opportunity to reciprocate. And one of my tips would be within like a message to put where you met them so that it helps them remember the event as well, which is another um, memory point and my last reason my most selfish reason to be honest is that it lets me remember them when I'm searching for a message that I sent so it's easier to scroll through a sent box than trying to rifle through a whole lot of business cards although I am quite a visual person so it does help to visualize what the card looks like and the person so on to my methods um, I've already said I'm quite old-fashioned so I do like to send an email and it's easy to give a short snippet of your business and Samuel last week gave a good presentation of how to make your email easy to read so certainly don't try and bombard people with a lot of information um, in the first instance um, so another method will be so we can't see people now we can't have business cards how will we remember how to connect with people with people so another way would be perhaps to, on social media, go and look them up on LinkedIn or whichever platform you feel comfortable with. That would be another way to follow up. And if anybody knows Ian Gribble, he always advocates when you've meet, met someone in real life to try and connect with them on LinkedIn as well so that it kind of acts like your address book and it will be easy to contact them in the future. And also LinkedIn message, message, uh, message. A message is as good as an email if you're more kind of not old-fashioned like me so there's no right or wrong way to follow up but it's just important to remember to do it um, it might just take a little bit of time but it's I think it's a great way to help people remember you um, help you remember them and also it's kind of like what people call like an, another touch point. So it might take, I don't know, five, seven, 13, which, whatever the magic number might be before um, they might need you. And it might not be straight away. And also it might help them um, remember you in a conversation with somebody else later on. 
So going back to my first question or my question of the follow up with so many visitors and members here today, I think one good thing to do would be remember to add it to your to do list today and follow up with somebody. I hope you found that helpful. Thank you.